something strange is happening with the Grey Knights. This is all happening over at Warhammer World. And I know people are going to say, this sounds like a foil video. And deep down, I want to release the foil. Do it. But no, I can't do it, right? I have to approach this with a more logical point of view rather than giving myself and going down that deep, dank, wet hole as we normally do. So let's jump in and let's talk about this mystery what's going on with the Grey Knights. As I'm recording this video, it is the 7th of June, 2024, and I have a friend at Warhammer World walking around, agent, if you want to call him an agent, and he is taking images of all the displays and stuff like that, just really soaking in Warhammer World, and he sent me something really interesting, and that is the Grey Knight display cabinet, because if you look in the background right now, we have hardly any Grey Knight in the Grey Knight cabinet. Seeing images like this always puts a smile on my face because it leaves so much talk on what potentially could be happening and i think with this one we have a lot of end potentials of what could be happening one of the big ones is agent of the imperium we know that codex is on the horizon it's supposed to be that redacted codex that's supposed to be coming in summer there's been a lot of rumors about it like new boxes new inquisitors new um, assassins and stuff like that but one of the big talking points is potentially putting armies that we have now inside of that codex like death watch and gray knights personally i don't believe that i don't think they would put the gray knights into agents i don't think they put death watch into agents well hopefully not because i love them getting their own books and having like a bunch of law um with, with with their stuff i don't personally see that and i think this picture more or less stops that because if we zoom in on the bottom right of the image you can see a bunch of the agents of the imperium right there you see the assassins uh the Cortez, like um, uh, the snipers and stuff like that. So personally, I don't think that is going to be the case um, this time around, which leaves the debate now and discussion are we about to get something new for the Grey Knights? Now, my personal opinion on this is that this is for something new for the Grey Knights, a new release for the Grey Knights. I know a lot of people always ask me, when is the Grey Knight refresh going to happen? Are we going to see new Terminators? I personally think we will see new Terminators for the Grey Knights, just not this edition. I think we're going to get a small update for the Grey Knights this edition, and next edition, 11th edition, whenever that is, what, two, three, four years away or something like that i think that is when the big refresh is going to happen when we're going to get like um new terminator armor for the gray knights or should i say a new scale for the gray knight so it looks in line with the rest of the stuff that's out on the tabletop for space marines at this moment in time so that leaves me thinking that the gray knights that have been taken out of this cabinet are probably being used in a photo shoot for the gray knight release for this edition, whatever's happening in this edition. And I think it's really, really cool if we look at the actual image and we look what's left inside that cabinet. Because maybe, just maybe, this is going to link up with some of the rumors, some of the foil, right? The foil really wants to come out with this video on potentially what is going to be released with the Grey Knights. Now, way 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 back i'm talking i'm i must be talking like two three years ago i heard a rumor that there was going to be a brand new caldor drago model coming for the gray knights and i was absolutely hyped because of people who know who caldor drago is um if you've read about him if you know what he's done his deeds and stuff he carved his name into mortarian's heart well not his name he carved his um his master's name into Mort uh, mortarian's heart and stuff a lot of people didn't like that but he's an absolute badass he's been swirling around in the warp uh, between worlds and stuff like that he's just this legendary figurehead of the gray knights he's the grandmaster um of the gray knights but technically he's there but he's not there it's there's so much going on uh, with caldor drago and it's perfect for him now to come back in this time because the, the the warp itself is spewing into normal reality there's a big great rift across the galaxy right so it makes sense for him to to pop up in this current law and we've heard nothing we've seen nothing of him during everything that's going on so maybe just maybe we are going to get this caldor drago because in the cabinet they did leave the caldor drago model you can see it for yourself in the background right now he's just left there like he's just on his brothers where is everyone brothers i am on my own here it's like caldor drago being in the warp is all on his own there's, just, there's a few flies behind him and stuff like that but more or less that model is left on his own in the cabinet another thing i heard about with the gray knights as well in the rumors 
and again, because these models are not here, maybe they're filming it, taking pictures with the new model or like the upgraded model, is that we're going to get something around the baby carrier for the Grey Knight. I know it sounds ridiculous, like how is it baby carry 2.0? Is it just like a upgraded baby carry? I, I, I really don't know. The whispers are not that clear. But since we don't have the baby carriers in that picture, I'm thinking maybe the baby carrier is some type of new HQ baby carrier and it's been surrounded by the normal baby carrier units that you normally see inside of this display cabinet it just kind of makes sense but does it make sense in a way it's such a strange one again if you look at the cabinet we get to see models like um some of the rhinos that are left in there um there's two librarians that are left in there as well maybe this could hint at we potential new librarian dedicated model for the Grey Knights because these are the bog standard um, Terminator um, librarians which just had a bit of a Grey Knight um, influence put on them and stuff like that. The rule of cool, let's say. Um, there's a captain of the Grey Knights in there, if I'm not mistaken, and um, the flyers as well. I've always said, like, I personally think GW are moving away from um, aircraft and stuff in Warmer 40,000 on the tabletop, and um, that's why we're seeing most of it go to Legends and stuff. Maybe these units will eventually start going to legends but again that's just my personal opinion on that i know some people are probably going to come and say well what if they're just um dusting the models off cleaning the models off which is a great opinion yeah i can definitely see that but my argument against it would be then why leave some of the models in the cabinet what are they are these ones clean and the other ones are dust there like dust doesn't work like that dust just falls on thing he doesn't select which models are duster and which models are not duster so i don't know it's it's a bit of a head scratcher they're definitely doing something promotional wise with gray knights right now we don't know what it is what it could be i'm putting all my chips on that it's something to do with the gray knight codex army shots and stuff like that with some new models that are involved on that but I'd love to get your opinion. I'd love to get your thoughts, feedback, whatever it could be. What do you think it is? Is it going to be for the agents? Is it going to be dedicated to Grey Knights? Let me know down in the comment section and we'll get a nice little chin wag down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.